elevator speech is a 90 second talk about the kind of science you're doing, um, what's important about it, why you're doing it, how you're doing it, what you expect to find out, and we use this to communicate not only to other scientists but to the general public, to funding agencies, and anybody else who might have an interest. Elevator speech is really important for scientists. So when they try to communicate what they're doing, they're used to talking to other experts. And that language is so full of scientific terminology and jargon expressed in certain ways that make it difficult for the general public um, or even other scientists to understand the value of the science. So what we do in the elevator speech is help them translate what they're doing into normal everyday language and then it is easy for them to share the amazing things that they're doing with their science. Doing the elevator speech really helped me develop my communication skills a lot more and, and it really allowed me to think very clearly about the meat to the core of my project and so whenever I go to say job interviews or even when I'm just talking to someone walking down the street or talking with my family, it, it allows me to you know, condense the, the important parts of my project um, into a really meaty talk and be able to deliver that effectively and clearly. I guess um, the moment you're able to explain your research to someone that's in sixth grade and you're ex able to you know, get, get a reaction from them where they realize why it's important and why it's cool, I think that's when you've really understood the impact of your research. And I think that's what everyone should kind of work towards, getting to the point where they're able to talk to anyone about their research and make it quick and make it fast. Um, well, they have to be succinct, obviously. 90 seconds is not a long time. They have to be complete. There are certain elements that they are required to include in the speech. They have to have human appeal. They have to be interesting and enthusiastic. But to me, what makes a really outstanding elevator speech is when the student or the speaker puts their own creativity and passion into the speech, and you can really see that coming through. They have amazing analogies or props that they use, or they do fun things. And they're still saying the same thing that they would say at a scientific conference, just in a different way. Some of these students work 60-hour weeks, 80-hour weeks. And in all of that work, sometimes they tend to forget how much they love what they're doing and why they're doing it. And when they do the elevator speech, they reconnect with that passion and that energy. And when that comes out, that's all totally my reward is to see them reconnect with the, what drove them to the work in the first place.